Hello my darlings, I hope you're all doing very well. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, not tattoo related, and that is talking about my perfume collection. I don't just collect tattoos. <laughs> I, over the years, have accumulated a lot of perfume. I always ask for perfume for my birthday and for Christmas, so that's how I got a lot of these. And lately, I have just, yeah, bought some perfume myself. I just can't control myself. I have always been a huge scent lover. If you've been watching me for a while, you'll know this. I love candles perfume, just scents of any kind, shower gels, all of that fun stuff, right? Shampoo, my shampoo has to smell good. <laughs> Hair care needs to smell good. Everything needs to smell good. I do like a lot of scents. I normally lean towards the sort of sweet, smoky, um, floral scents. I do not like citrus and sort of fresh scents. They're not my cup of tea at all. They sometimes do give me a headache, which is very weird for someone that loves scents. But lately, a certain like note in perfume and what have you has started to give me a headache, which is weird. Because Tom, my boyfriend, has this one specific spray and it makes me feel instantly very sort of pre-migraine. If you suffer with migraines, you'll maybe know that feeling. But that feeling you get before you get a very bad headache or migraine, you kind of just feel out of place. You just want to like just go to sleep or whatever. Uh, that's been happening lately, but luckily none of my perfumes have set it off yet. But then I do have a lot, so I haven't been spraying as many, you know, like I have my favourites and ones I gravitate towards and they have been fine. How old was I when I got my first perfume bottle? I think I was like nine or was I like seven? I went to Mallorca. <laughs> this is an old school story. By the way, this is going to be a very casual chatty video, so please get comfortable, get your snacks, get a blanket and all of that. Like it's going to... Oh, my microphone's all the way over there. What are you doing? But yeah, just get comfortable. <laughs> but yeah, I went to Mallorca, I think, was I seven years old? Eight years old. And I bought a, it was a kid's perfume. It was like a Cinderella perfume. Oh my goodness. That was my first ever one. I kind of wish I still had the bowl. That would be so cool, but I don't. And then I think I started getting proper perfumes um, when I was like 12, 13 maybe. I think my first like designer perfume, if you want to call it that, was a Tommy Hill figure one. I think it was Tommy Girl or something. And then there was this diesel one that I had that I really liked that was in a white bottle. That was sort of like my, you know, my first ever proper perfumes. And I was quite young. I've had a love for perfume since then. I will show you all the ones that I have at this house. <laughs> for those that might not know, I have a house with my sister. I kind of moved out, moved in with my boyfriend. Me and my boyfriend got our own house kind of thing. And I still have some perfumes back there as well. So I have like Paco Rabanne Olympia, which is quite a nice one. I have Alien. Uh, that was a choice to leave it there because Tom has said that um, his previous sort of like two girlfriends or whatever used to wear Alien and he doesn't like the smell anymore, which is fine, you know, I can understand, you know, scent has quite a powerful, like, memory trigger, you know, and I don't ever want to put him in a bad place. I have two black opiums, I've got a black opium here as well, which is the new one, I'll obviously discuss that later, and what else do I have there? I have quite a few, but the majority of my perfume collection is at this house. Oh my god, it's so heavy! <laughs> All my perfume is in this very, um, attractive bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's um yeah don't ask what this is about oh my god it's so heavy there's a lot in there so um <laughs> get ready there is my favorite website of all time when well, i have two favorite websites that aren't tattoo related at all one is imdb <laughs> i'm always looking at imdb i love that website and the other one is fragranatica i don't know if i'm saying that right but this website is basically a place where you put in a perfume like in a search bar or whatever and it will tell you the notes and it will have people leaving reviews it's honestly the most helpful website for scents of all time i have loved it for years oh my goodness i highly recommend you check it out if you're a perfume lover and it's also a great way of discovering other perfumes so say you have a specific perfume you like it at the bottom of the website it will you know recommend stuff that's kind of similar that's how the perfume addiction starts though so be careful <laughs> i also want to say obviously everyone has different tastes so like my favorite perfumes might not be your favorite perfumes also people's bodies react 
two perfumes differently so what might smell good on me might not smell good on you and vice versa you know sometimes I've smelled perfume on someone and been like whoa that smells so good and then I go and spray it on myself in like a department store and then I'm like I don't remember it smelling like this you know like people's body chemistry and skin pH balance and all of that can affect how a perfume smells okay I am done rambling now. <laughs> Let's get ready. Oh my gosh, this is going to take a while. I have some perfume tester strips here so I can sort of spray the perfume should I need to. And then give it a sniff. Also with perfumes. <laughs> oh my goodness. They always change over the hours. I feel like a lot of you guys would know this. A few of the perfumes I have, I initially don't like the first spray. And then after a couple of hours, I'm like, oh man, this smells so good, you know? When you test a perfume in a department store, don't go off the initial smell. Spray it on a card, then smell it after a couple of hours. Don't, you know, just buy straight away because you might not like how it smells when it's dried down and what have you. They're my top tips. I've already rambled on for far too long. I do apologize. Okay, let's go. I'm not gonna be doing this in any particular order apart from this one because this is my favourite perfume and I have to rant and rave about it, which is the Dior Hypnotic Poison. I think I've definitely mentioned this perfume before. This has been in my life since I was 17, I believe. I don't know if this is my second bottle or third bottle. I like to wear this more in the sort of autumn winter because it's quite a warm scent it's very gourmand gourmand oh my god this just transports me back into like christmas time because every time i've got a bottle of this i've got it at christmas time oh it's such a beautiful scent it's um vanilla cherry almond honestly my favorite scent of all time i don't think it will ever change i hope this never you know, it gets discontinued or whatever, because I could just, oh, if I could wear one scent for the rest of my life, it would be this. Even though it's more of a wintry scent to me, I could still wear this in summer and be happy. <laughs> okay, I'm now going to be picking up random. I just had to mention my favourite scent of all time. Please comment down below your favourite perfume. I would love to know. Let's see, like, the variety of scents you guys like. Also, your least favourite perfume. Do you have a least favourite perfume? I think mine's um, Angel by Thierry Mogler. What is that perfume about? I cannot stand that at all. I oh, do not like it. I have this. This is a misguided perfume. It's called Babe Power. For those that might not know, I think misguided is around the world, but it's kind of like a clothing a website to be honest with you but they do have a few perfumes this smells gorgeous it's quite sweet vanilla a lot of people do compare this to Dior Hypnotic Poison I have smelled it on someone before and I was like are you wearing Dior Hypnotic Poison they were like no I'm wearing Babe Power by Misguided I was like wait what it smells exactly like Dior Hypnotic Poison and I'm always trying to find other scents that smell like that I am yet to find one so I ordered this and I was like okay like it's a cheaper version if I want to wear a scent that smells like Dior but don't want to wear my Dior if that makes sense because Dior is quite a, like an expensive perfume I could just go for this I'm going to Tesco or whatever you know on me this does not smell anything like it <laughs> But it still has that kind of vibe, the vanilla, the sweet. It's really nice. I highly recommend it. The next one I have here is Red Temptation from Zara. I highly recommend Zara perfumes. They're surprisingly very good, especially the Parfum ones. So they last a little bit longer because there is more uh, scent oils in them or whatever. Uh, Red Temptation smells a little bit like Baccarat Rouge 540, which is a cult classic perfume, especially if you're on the perfume side of TikTok. This is how I discovered this. This smells a little bit more alcoholy to start off with, but then once it dries down, you do have that Baccarat Rouge, like bougie smell, you know? I don't have Baccarat Rouge um, in my collection as of yet, just because it's so expensive. Oh my goodness, like it's very expensive and I have tested it on me. It doesn't last that long on me, unfortunately, so I've never kind of justified the price tag of it. It would be more of just having it as a collector's item, if that makes sense. So I don't, I don't know if I can justify that price. It's very pricey. But this does smell pretty similar to it and this lasts longer on me. 
So yeah, I highly recommend checking out Zara perfumes because they're inexpensive. Some of them do last a very long time as well. And this is a massive bottle. I think this was only like 20 quid. And this is 80 mil. There's 80 mil of Puffum in here. Okay, I have a, another sort of classic perfume. This is Lady Million by Paco Rabanne. I feel like with this perfume, you either love it or you hate it. A lot of people do say that it smells like a toilet. <laughs> Apparently to a lot of people, it has sort of like a pee smell and i personally don't get that i feel like it's a very nice rich scent but i find it very hard to um explain what it smells like i, like I can't pick up any notes whatsoever like it, it hasn't got like a vanilla scent it isn't really that floral like honestly this is gonna sound so stupid but if gold had a smell it this would be the smell to me like i don't know why but like yeah it smells kind of metallic-y but in a good way. I, I just never know how to describe this, but I love it. Okay, the next one I have here is Tom Ford Velvet Orchid. This is one of the perfumes I have where I don't like the initial spray. The initial spray to me is a bit too much. It's a bit too floral. But then when it dries down, oh baby. Oh, it's a, I've just realized I've been spraying perfume in the direction of my drink. So that's gonna taste gorgeous later. Yeah, it, it, at first it is very strong, but then after a while it just starts to smell nicer and nicer and ni nice, nicer nicery. <laughs> the next one I've got here is a Jean Paul Gaultier one. I think this is called La Belle. I got this um, this Christmas. It is, oh, this is a gorgeous perfume. I have always loved the bottles for Jean Paul Gaultier perfumes. They are just stunning. They're so beautiful. And I love how the colour of this perfume is like red as well. Mm. Is fruity, coconutty, vanilla-y. It's not super overpowering. It's quite sweet. Definitely like a, a summer perfume. Oh, it's delicious. The next one I have, there's going to be a lot of the next ones. Because <laughs> there's still so many for me to go through. Uh, this is from YSL. This is Black Opium. It's a new one. I forgot which, what it's called though. Does it say what it's called? I'm not sure what this one's called, but it's a newer black opium. There is, if you if you're like me and you follow a lot of like TikTokers that talk about perfume, a lot of them hate black opium and say it's so overrated. But doesn't mean it's not a good perfume, you know? Like I don't know. Like I just like it, and I like how they keep coming out with different variations. This variation is definitely my favourite because you still have that black opium smell, like from the original. But it's, I don't know. It's just a little bit more like fruity and mm, just it's really really nice the next one i've got is valentino voce viva i think i'm saying that right or is that incorrect i don't know the bottle of this is absolutely stunning it is so beautiful it's got a fresh vanilla -y, like, i'm gonna say vanilla -y a lot this for me again is quite a summery perfume it's quite fresh but not a fresh that i hate because it I do not like fresh scents at all, but this is a an acceptable amount for me. <laughs> the next one I have is Tom Ford White Patchouli. This is one of my favourite perfumes. It is leaning more towards very floral, which is sometimes something I can't handle. But again, with this one, when the dry down happens and it starts to settle, it's very, very nice. The longevity of this is very nice also. I can normally smell this into the next day. The next one I have is Prada Iris. Again, this is quite a floral one, but the dry down is very, very nice. On like initial smell, it's normally something that I would find kind of icky, you know? But I discovered this when I worked in a department store. I worked in Debenhams and I would sometimes very cheekily go over to the perfume section, I say sometimes, it was nearly daily, <laughs> just to see what was going on. And I would always find myself gravitated to this and I would spray this on me. And then I eventually, did I ask for it for a Christmas or birthday or did I buy it myself? I don't remember. But yeah, it's one of those scents that at first I'm like, oof. After a couple of hours, I'm like, oh man, this smells so good. And it's normally seen as sort of like a, maybe an older lady perfume. I don't like to generalize or, you know, whatever, but it's surprisingly very nice. <laughs> okay, this one may not seem like a perfume. It is classed as a body spray. This is Lush Snow Fairy. I swear to God though, you spray this on you, it will last hours and hours and hours and hours, like all day. 
it's crazy how long this lasts for just like a little like body spray i think this is like 20 quid or something i don't know i am a child i do love fun sweet candy scents snow fairy i'm sure you might be aware of what this smells like but it does have that sort of bubblegum candy floss sweet smell it's so nice but you either love it or you hate it tom does not like this at all but oh, i love it so much again this one sort of reminds me of like christmas time great scent i mean it probably reminds me of christmas time because it comes out at christmas but yeah the next one i have is narciso i don't know if this is called narciso narciso i'm not sure what this one is called i've had this quite a while it's one of my favorites it's got a very sort of powdery smell to it it's very nice very subtle but long wearing it's one of those ones that i've been holding on to for a while you can't see how much is left in here unfortunately because of the way the bottle is so I have no idea how much I have left. Because I'm quite a, like a perfume hoarder. I don't like to like spray perfumes a lot. Like I will try and alternate just so every bottle lasts a little bit longer. And I know because I've had this for quite a while and I know I've sprayed it quite a lot. I, I don't think there's much left of it. And I obviously could always buy a new one. But like, I don't know, I'm, I like, I like to protect my perfumes. <laughs> the next one I have here is another Zara Eau de Parfum. And this is Rose Gourmand. Again, I saw this on TikTok. People compare it to a other very bougie perfume, which I've completely forgot the name of. Cafe something, Cafe de Rose, I don't know. Uh, I haven't actually smelt that one, so I don't know if it's, you know, correct. But the perfume gods of TikTok have told me that it is. <laughs> so I'll just take their word for it. This is a very rose gourmand scent. So you've got that vanilla, almondy, rose scent. It is beautiful. It's quite strong, but it lasts hours and hours and into the next day which i obviously love about a perfume because you don't have to spray so much and it will last longer and again this was only like 20 pound or something like that it was not expensive at all so if you want to start a perfume collection and figure out what kind of perfume scents you like i highly recommend like i was saying you know going to zara and also zara perfumes are on that website that i was mentioning beforehand fragranatica so you can then see you know what notes are in there and then sort of go from there which is amazing the next one i've got here is from Go Go i can never say it Golane, Golan, Gol <laughs> Golane, Golan. i don't know and um, this is le petite robe noir this is another perfume that i've had for a while and sort of just spray every now and then this to me is quite a summery scent it's very sweet it's quite playful is that a weird way to explain a perfume i don't know oh i can smell a lot of pear in there at the minute this reminds me of pear drops you know the sweets I've never noticed that before. This bottle has seen some things. I have definitely taken this traveling places, like if I've gone on holiday or whatever. Uh, this is John Paul Gaultier. This is the classic one. There's not much left in there at all. The way it sort of smells and what have you is in the name. It's a very classic scent. Again, I think it's one of those uh, perfumes you either love it or you hate it. I love it anytime i smell it on someone else i'm like oh god you smell so goddamn sexy <laughs> i don't have much left i don't know why i'm spraying it i know what it smells like but oh. again for me this is quite a wintry scent i'm just i've been transported back to winter christmas time it's got that sort of soapy powder smell floral a little bit of vanilla is in there somewhere as well the next one i have here is lancome la vie est belle another sort of cult classic within the perfume collector world i believe it's one of those scents that a lot of people like it's quite a safe scent there isn't anything sort of too overpowering it's quite subtle and it, it's one of those perfumes that could suit anybody you know mm. yeah it's just very light airy there's nothing offensive about it at all it's what people would call like an office scent because i know a lot of people that work in like offices and in enclosed places you don't really want to wear anything too overpowering or too strong because that can maybe affect people with like headaches or what have you so this is quite a safe perfume oh god this is another perfume bottle that has actually seen the worst there is foundation stains all over it because again this ends up in my makeup bag when i go traveling but this is from the essence vault which is basically one of those companies that make 
designer perfumes but for like cheaper or what have you this it says 444 but this is lost cherry by tom ford it's like a dupe of that oh tom ford lost cherry is a gorgeous scent it is so bloody lovely but the longevity of it is awful it's not good at all i've tested it a couple of times because i've been very tempted to buy it it just does not last on me personally anyway but this dupe of it two days i'm not joking couple of sprays i could smell this on me for like two days it's incredible i don't know how they did it but if you like tom ford lost train if you've tried it or whatever or you want to try it i'll just go for this because it's cheaper it lasts longer oh oh my god it just smells like mm, <laughs> it's a very comforting scent for me i don't know what it is about cherry scented stuff but it just makes me feel comfortable and warm and cozy but yeah this is very very heavily cherry and it's got like a like a gourmand scent to it it's got that vanilla scent to it it is beautiful this is a stradavius which is um like a clothing company i believe they're owned by zara or they've got something to do with zara because like the website and the clothing is very similar this is orchid vanilla gourmand i saw this on asos and i was like okay that sounds like a bit of me i think it was only like 15 pound it's not the best though i thought it would be very good because i had that theory that stradavius has got something to do with zara and i was like well i like zara perfume so this can't be that bad i don't know i never gravitated to it no it just smells like nothing like there is not much there at all like, I'm not getting anything from this. I'm not amused. <laughs> I'm not entertained. <laughs> it kind of smells like a very, very weak Paco Rabanne Olympia. And not in a good way. You know, like, I, I just, I don't know. I, it, I've sprayed it a couple of times and been like, mm. but again, it was £15. I just wanted to try. It's a blind buy. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Oh, my sweet love. My sweet baby. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> um. Anyway, this is Michael Kors Midnight Shimmer. This was up there with my favourite perfume. It is the most delicious, gorgeous vanilla scent of all time. It's been discontinued. And I have never been so gutted and heartbroken in my life because I'm pretty sure there isn't much in here. I'm savouring it like it's the last... I don't know, like, what are you? Like, the last bit of gold in the world. I don't know, it's... Oh, I can't... Hopefully I can smell it on here because I really don't want to spray it. Mm. A nice vanilla scent with a hint of... like I get like a hint of blueberry in there. I don't think that's part of any of the notes, but I pick up this like blueberry scent to it. But it's not like super fruity. It's more of just like a nice calming smell and it lasts hours and hours and hours. And I'm so sad. I hope that it comes back at some point. I don't know. I have just... Oh, I'm so sad about this. Truly, like it, oh, my baby. The next one I've got here is Alien Goddess. This is a newer Alien perfume, so I can wear this. <laughs> it hasn't been tarnished, <laughs> like I was saying before, with the original Alien, which is in the purple bottle. This is a very um, sort of summery scent to me, because uh, the original Alien, again, it's one of those things that, because I think I got it for a like Christmas and my birthday, which is in January, so it's quite a wintry time. The original Alien gives me like wintry vibes, you know? But this to me is quite light. And it's, oh, it reminds me of just like, it smells juicy. I can't explain that. I know that sounds very weird, but it gives me like a juicy vibe. <laughs> it kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Lady Million a little bit, but it's a bit more, it's not as heavy, it's a little bit more friendly. This one, oh my goodness. So this is La Interdit, La Interdit, I don't know how you say it, I'm not good at pronouncing, by Givenchy. I did not know this perfume existed until Christmas last year, like when Christmas just gone. My sister got this for me and she was like, it's gorgeous, I think you'll like it. And I was like, okay, like I'm very intrigued. Honestly, up there is one of my favourite perfumes. I am so mad that I didn't know this existed until like a few months ago. She told me that this was actually a perfume made for Audrey Hepburn. I don't know how true this is. I don't know where she got her information from. <laughs> Could be true. I don't know. Um, completely missed. Damn it. I'm wasting perfumes out in here. It's one of those perfumes that I 
I li- I cannot tell you how this smells. Like there is nothing I can pinpoint. It's a very sexual smell, and the longevity of this is insane. Again, I can smell this on me into the next day. It's one of those perfumes. Again, you need like one spray on your neck, one spray on each wrist. You are good to go you do not need much of this not because it's overpowering just because it lasts so long so you don't want to waste it okay so i haven't picked this one at random i'm picking the other version that i have of the givenchy perfume the Le interdet i don't know how to say it i brought this one myself because i was so obsessed with that one i was like okay i know there's more of them now i have to smell them so this was a blind buy i hadn't smelled it i just went on fragranatica for that one because i wanted to know what the notes were and then noticed that there was another one and i was just like oh i think there might be another two or another one this one looking at the notes of it it seemed a lot more of something i would like so i was like you know what i'm gonna risk it and just buy it this is more of a gourmand 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 however you say it um scent of that one if that makes any sense it's got a what was it what was the fruit cherry <laughs> cool it fucking is yeah it's got a cherry vibe to it which i love so much oh baby a big bowl <laughs> this is dolce and gabbana pour femme this is the intense version it's a massive bottle i got this for christmas or was it my birthday i don't remember because they're so close together and my memory's bad I, I don't know i've had this before two maybe three times never had the intense version um, but I've had the original version of this, loved it, intense version, it's just as good, it's just lasts maybe a little bit longer, I can't personally see a difference, um, maybe I'm nose blind, I don't know, <laughs> but this to me, I feel like you could wear it all the time, because it's just like a, a very nice like vanilla based perfume, it's not offensive, it's not powerful in any of the sort of categories you can get for perfumes it kind of has like this sugary smell to it like oh i wore it the other day actually tom's sister who was stayed the, over the night come downstairs she was like oh smells like love hearts down here <laughs> so if you ever had like the love heart sweets i can see what she's saying now at first i was like wait what i don't, I don't smell that personally but it does have that sort of sugary smell to it the next one i have here is another zara one this is called new it new it n-u-i-t um why did i buy this i think i saw this on tiktok i'm not gonna lie i think people said that it smelled a little bit like um dior hypnotic poison to me it doesn't it does have that sort of like gourmand scent it's kind of vanilla-y it's got a hint of like a fruitiness in there and it's nice it is very nice but i is no no doesn't even compare to the dior hypnotic poison but as it is if you're not comparing it to anything it's still a very nice perfume this again was a blind buy i saw what it was meant to smell like this is a pretty little thing perfume um, it's an eau de parfum <laughs> and it's called make them talk i believe i think that's what it's called again i saw this on asos and looked at the like what the scent description it's not that great it's not anything to you know scream about or anything i can't actually remember what it smells like oh it's quite woody oh 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 no what does this smell this smells like this smells very familiar kind of does smell again like lady million I don't know whether that's because I can't really describe what it smells like. It doesn't have anything screaming out to me apart from a wood scent. I think why I had an initial like mm, kind of vibe about it is because when I got it, I think I was underwhelmed. But now smelling it again, because I, I, I honestly have sprayed this probably once, like revisiting it, it's honestly not that bad. The next one I've got here, which is a very cute little bottle. This is KLE Eden Juicy Apple. The reason why I got this, because it come in a set with um, a liquid lipstick. I like the look of the liquid lipstick. And I knew I liked KLE perfumes. I have one. And then I have a lot of testers, which I'll get to in a moment. Uh, this, to me, smells like a very bougie version of a DKNY perfume. I don't, are they still a thing? I used to have them. You know, like the apple perfumes? I had the green one and the red one a couple of times throughout my life when I was younger. But it smells like that, but more sophisticated, a little bit more complex. It is very juicy. It is very apple based, but there's like a vanilla sugary smell in there. It's a very nice sort of like summertime fragrance, daytime. Oh, this again has been through the absolute most. There is like 
I think it's scratched up or something. I don't know what's going on with the front there. The back's fine. But like the front's, it's, it's been through a lot. But this is a Rituals perfume. I'm not going to be able to pronounce that. It says F-U-Y-U-D-O-R. I will type it here. Giving me old lady vibes, but nice. <laughs> I can't explain it. It smells like a musty library. Does that make any sense? You know that like musty, dusty smell? Uh, but I enjoy it because I do take this like when I go away because like, I've used quite a lot and because it's such a small bottle. The next one I have is Ariana Grande Cloud. I got sucked in <laughs> to buying this through Perfume TikTok because I can confirm it does smell a lot like Baccarat Rouge 540, the very expensive perfume that I was talking about before. I have compared the two, like I had this on one hand and then Baccarat on the other kind of deal. It's very, very close, very close. The only thing that I would say is different is the price tag and the bowl. I would highly recommend getting this or even blind buying this. I think this was only £24 or what have you. It is very nice for a celebrity perfume there's no doubt about it like ariana knew what she was doing with this and it's probably one of the nicest celebrity scents i have ever smelled i've completely just destroyed the whole thing i've taken it out of its a uh, cloud <laughs> but the name kind of gives it away it's very just airy light delicious it's a very nice scent i put off buying this for a while because i was like i don't want to buy a celebrity perfume like oh no <laughs> I caved in, I got curious and I don't regret it at all and it smells great, it smells really nice. I see why there's a lot of hype around it. I think this is my last Zara perfume. <laughs> this is Zara Femme. I really like the bottle of this. It's just so basic and it looks really good in my opinion. I don't know, I'm just, I, I'm very drawn to it. It's quite a statement bottle but it's very simplistic. It would look nice on someone's sort of vanity area. You know, like it just very minimalist. I like it. Anyway, mm. it's quite subtle. This one, unfortunately, doesn't last that long on me. Like I would say I get about a five hour wear out of it before I just completely notice that it's not there anymore. But again, it's quite a light scent. So friendly scent, you know, you're not going to offend anyone with this perfume. You're not going to give anyone a headache with this. So it's yeah, just like a nice little, per it's like a personal perfume it doesn't smell bad or anything it does smell very good but it's i think um oh what is that perfume juliet has a gun that is one of those perfumes that a lot of people say if you want to wear a perfume but don't want it to smell perfumey you should get like juliet has a gun i smelled that the other day i, I wasn't taken aback by it or anything i wasn't like overwhelmed or i was more underwhelmed <laughs> it's, i think it was like created to be like a a no perfume perfume if that makes any sense it's kind of like no makeup makeup so you kind of put it on you to have like a natural smell it's like a natural smelling perfume i feel like that zara one has the same kind of vibe oh boy this is dusty i have not worn this in a very long time but it's one of my favorites i forget how good this smells like i know what it smells like um, but I never spray it. I think it's because it doesn't last that long on me, unfortunately. I wish it would, but this is Valentino. I think Valentina? Yes, Valentino, Valentina. I've had this a while, like years and years at this point. But it's a sweet... Oh, <laughs> I'm being transported back to being like 25. It smells like a sour sweet. It's got quite a sour smell to it. Not in a bad way, but if you imagine like... Oh, you know there's like a sour rainbow sweets. There's like a hint of strawberry in there. A little bit floral. Nothing screaming. So there's no like specific florals in there that are screaming to me. It's making my mouth water. Like I literally could eat this. Oh boy, we're coming towards the end, guys. I promise. I feel like I've been talking for a literal lifetime. Okay, the next one I've got for you guys here is KRLE Vanilla 28. This is probably one of the best vanilla smelling perfumes you will ever come across it's very long lasting a few people say that this doesn't last that long for me it's an all-dayer 
it's one of those comfort scents to me again. I find vanilla based stuff very comforting. It's not offensive. It is like a sugary vanilla gourmand scent. I highly recommend you smell this or even blind buy a smaller bottle. You can get these in like a little bottle like the one that I just showed you with the juicy apple. The next one I've got here is a replica one by Mason Margiela. These like the KLE ones are quite expensive. This is a 30 ml bottle and it was £49, which if you collect perfumes then I guess you might not find that expensive for a perfume. I don't know because you can get perfumes that are like 300, 400, 500 quid. Like <laughs> perfume can get expensive. Um, but Mason Margiela replica ones, they make perfumes and scents and what have you to replicate periods of time. So this is by the fireplace. It says Provence and period Charmonix 1971. Fragrance description burning wood and chestnut. Style description memory in a fragrance. And there's loads of there's another one that I really want to get which is Jazz Club. That smells really good as well. I would say this one's quite a unisex fragrance. Like I believe you know anyone, literally anyone could wear this. <laughs> Again this has very quickly become one of my favourite perfumes. It's very smoky. There's definitely that sort of burning wood smell, which sounds like it could be very gross, but it is not at all. It is so good. Yeah, I'm getting like a smoky smell, vanilla, sweetness. It's very, very comforting. It does literally transport me into some sort of old rustic pub with a fireplace you can smell the smell of like alcohol but not in a bad way and um the burning wood and like a, a dessert i can smell like a dessert coming through because <laughs> you've got that sweetness as well and this does last on me you know throughout the whole day into the next day um so it's definitely worth the money i'm just gonna have to like forget that this exists every now and then you know because I could feel myself wanting to wear this all the time. I'm gonna try and make this sort of like a wintry scent because it does smell quite you know comforting, warming. What I have in here is testers and little perfumes. I don't know if that's interesting to anyone ever. Um, oh hang on, I'll do it quickly. So I've got these uh, little perfumes here. I think there's eight mil where you get eight mil in here, but I've been signed up to this perfume subscription service for, oh God, two, three years at this point, And you basically pick perfumes to be sent to you in this sort of bottle. They do give you um, a atomizer thing to put it in, but I lost that years ago and I kind of prefer to leave them out like this because uh, it has a label on there to say what it is. Oh, this one's kind of empty. There's only a little bit left of it. Uh, it's kind of expensive because you only get 8 mil um, of perfume and it's £12 a month. But you get to choose what perfumes get sent to you and stuff. So you, if you're ever curious about what something smells like or whatever, I don't know. I've got one here, which is Alexander McQueen Eau Blanche, which I think means white. Uh, nice scent. I've used pretty much all of it. There is not much left in there at all, which is, I love that for me. Which one's this? Estee Lauder Modern Muse. I forgot what this smells like, you know. Oh yeah, that's very nice. It's quite sophisticated. It's a sophisticated scent. I would class it as a dinner time scent. If you go into a nice restaurant, it's that kind of vibe, you know, like quite bougie. Carolina Herrera, Good Girl Superstars. I surprisingly don't have Carolina Herrera's Good Girl Perfume, which is in the shoe bottle. I like it. I've never had the urge to buy it. Like it, it's not anything special in my opinion. You know, like it's it's nice. I'm not saying it's not nice, but I've never had the like urge to buy it or whatever. It's more of like a collector's bottle. A lot of people I follow on TikTok that talk about perfume have that, and they kind of got it just because the bottle looks so cool. I bought Tom the men's version of it. Oh, what's it called? Bad boy. It's in like a lightning bottle. That smells pretty good. It does have quite a fresh scent to it. So when he sprays it initially, I cannot be anywhere near it. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm going to get a headache. But once it dries down, it's quite nice. This is Estee Lauder Wood Mystique. I don't think I like this one. But I have sprayed it quite a bit by the looks of things. I think this has like a granny scent to it. Yeah, it's very, very heavy on the granny side of things. Kind of, I can feel myself getting headachey. <laughs> oh no, I forgot my commodity stuff. Oh, 
poo. I basically brought this like tester set from this like independent, oh my goodness, from this like independent um, perfume place, again discovered through TikTok, it's called Commodity and they have um, an array of fragrances. They've got paper which I really like, gold is very nice, velvet is very nice. Here is a Rituals one, Rose de Shiraz, little thing. Oh. Oh no. Oh my god. What does that smell like? That smells like another perfume. It, oh, do you know what that smells like? That smells like a perfume my mum had at one point. Like I'm, I feel like I'm back in my childhood from that. I'm gonna have to do some investigating to see what this is. Like what if it's been compared to anything else. The other ones I've got here is the... I'll try and show you like this. There's a lot in there. Kaylee did a tester fragrance sort of gift set kind of deal. You got all of the, well, the majority of the perfumes in like little tester tubes. I think it was like £20 or £29. It was very much worth it because I know now which ones I like. I've got this one here, which is Kaylee Elixir. Very, very nice. I've used the majority of that. This one is empty pretty much. This is the vanilla one. This one is, oh, I do not like this one at all. This is Kaylee Citrus. I do not like citrus scents at all. I don't mind if citrus is a part of a perfume, but when it's very, very heavily citrus, do not like. I have no, I've sprayed that one time and I was like, no, I'm gonna leave that over there. <laughs> um, this one is Invite Only Amber. Another very gorgeous scent from Kaylee. This one is Kaylee Musk. Very nice as well. And then this one is Kaylee Sweet Diamond. This is very nice. I haven't sprayed much of it, but I feel like my sister would really like this scent and I'm trying to figure out a way of safely giving this to her. Because <laughs> I feel like if I was to send it in the mail, it might leak or something. I literally saw her like two weeks ago. I should have given it to her then. I'm holding on to it for her though, because I just know she would like this. <laughs> and this one is um, Kaylee Deja Vu. I don't actually remember what this one smells like. All the other ones, I know what they smell like. This one, I don't remember though. Ooh, that's very nice. Oh, oh boy. Well, I mean, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for being here and listening to me talk about my obsessive um, perfume <laughs> collection. My perfume collection to, I don't know, the average person that really doesn't care about perfume may seem very excessive, but oh my goodness, if you have ever come across someone that collects perfume, like, as a hobby, my collection is tiny compared to them. Like I see these people on TikTok and on, and on YouTube and I'm like, how? Again, I would absolutely love to know your favorite perfumes, your least favorite perfume. So that's it for this video. <laughs> I hope you're all doing very well. And until my next one, bye.